What is known about Samsung Digital City and what conditions do the employees live in? Watch our video and we'll tell you everything in detail. For the most curious, at the end, we have prepared a selection of the most innovative Samsung developments that will be implemented in the near future. Let's go! Today, Samsung is an entire group of companies that includes, among others, Samsung Electronics and Samsung Life Insurance Company, with total annual revenues of $208 billion, about 13% of South Korea's total GDP. Samsung makes everything from medical supplies to energy. Samsung shipped 71.9 million smartphones during the year compared to Huawei and Apple, which shipped 59.1 million and 36.4 million units, respectively. Needless to say, this company is extremely strong, but this was not enough for the Samsung management, and they decided to build their own city. Samsung Digital City is located about 30 kilometers south of Seoul in South Korea. It is where the Galaxy series is developed and tested. The first designs for the wall TV were sketched and numerous cool gadgets were created. This place was built for the work and life of Samsung's brightest minds from around the world. According to a company's press release, it cost Samsung about $1 billion to build Digital City in Suwon City. Interestingly, this very site was home to an ancient community dating back to the 8th century, and it used to be surrounded by walls. Despite Suwon's historical past, Samsung Digital City is extremely modern. It has 390 acres of office space, four iconic office towers up to 38 stories high, 131 buildings with plenty of labs, offices, recreational facilities, and a guest house for visiting researchers. There's also a place on campus called Samsung 5G City. It consists of an outdoor park where the company tests 5G networking equipment, which is later used by telecom operators including South Korea and the United States. The campus is equipped with peculiar spaces such as Multiple Input Multiple Outpost, or the MIMO, where Samsung is testing different technologies for smartphones. The company keeps MIMO tests secret, but the futuristic space looks more like the cockpit of a spaceship. Samsung Digital City employs more than 65,000 research and development employees, accounting for about 20% of Samsung's global workforce. The campus has a multi-story library where designers and employees can brainstorm and find inspiration in numerous books and magazines. Samsung Digital City is also home to the Samsung Sound Lab, which has music equipment and voice booths where Samsung's virtual smartphone assistant, Bigsby's voice, is recorded. Sounds are also created here for many appliances, the sound a smartphone makes when it's plugged into an electrical outlet, or the sound a refrigerator makes after its door is left open too long. The vast campus has a 4,100-seat cafeteria where the employees eat absolutely free. Each day it serves breakfast, lunch, or dinner with any of the 72,000 dishes from 92 different menus. Produce is sourced from around Suwon, creating strong relationships with farmers and producers. There are also international food and beverage outlets such as Dunkin' Donuts on campus. In addition, the campus has a helipad as well as free buses for its employees. Samsung organizes events every week including concerts, fashion shows, and talk shows. There are 690 different clubs where employees have fun during breaks, and these clubs range from Korean folk painting to paragliding to cooking. When it's family day at Samsung Digital City, the entire campus turns into a theme park for Samsung families and residents. There are 490 sports clubs and 10 basketball courts, 4 badminton courts, 3 soccer fields, 2 baseball fields, a climbing wall, and an Olympic-sized swimming pool at the headquarters. Samsung Electronic provides numerous free social benefits to Samsung Digital City residents, including childcare, free meals, recreation, and public transportation. Employees also have access to a number of on-campus medical facilities with everything from flu shots to dentistry to acupuncture. In this way, Samsung Electronics stands out as an attractive and reliable employer. The company has hired 150 kindergarten teachers to care for 900 employees' children on weekdays. On rainy days, Samsung provides 9,000 free umbrellas for each of its employees to use between buildings. Samsung's various campuses, including Digital City, are dotted with green spaces and athletic fields for employees to use. Their first research and development laboratory was opened in 1980 and was named R1. 
the last one, R5, was opened in 2013, and the company claims that the city has always been a major research and development center. However, the Suwon campus is not limited to Samsung employees. The company has also taken up tourism, despite strict security measures, by opening the Samsung Innovation Museum to the public, a place that is dedicated to the history of the electronics industry over the past century and beyond. It pays homage to the company's history along with the overall history of technology products. The museum is very modern and new, and it opened in 2014. It is divided into three large halls with everything written in four languages, Korean, English, Japanese, and Chinese. The first hall is dedicated to the history of electricity, lighting, telecommunications, batteries, home appliances, and radio, as well as experiments with electricity. The second room tells a story of the development of semiconductors and the history of the invention of televisions, with an exhibit showing what the very first television looked like compared to the most modern ones. There's also a similar exhibit with cell phones, telling the progression from the old bricks to today's smartphones. In the third room, you can watch a movie of about 8 minutes, showing possible future electronics that could be created to make our lives easier. Here we come to the most interesting part. What does Samsung do in its ultra-modern laboratories, and what technologies will be available to us in the near future? AI for finding new materials and creating chips Artificial intelligence is often used to quickly process large amounts of information, and in this vein it makes sense to use it to develop new, super-strong, lightweight, and inexpensive materials. Scientists can spend many years creating a material and finding the right combination of elements. AI can do this with much less chance of error and thousands of times faster. Everything in Genius is simple, right? According to Samsung, systems for finding new materials based on artificial intelligence will be implemented in the next 10 to 20 years. People can be engaged in more creative tasks and not waste precious time on monotonous and meticulous work. But this is not the only development in which the company uses artificial intelligence. Samsung confirmed the company will use AI to create new chips and added that it will use new software for Synapsys, a leading chip design software company. However, the company did not confirm whether AI-designed chips have gone into production or what products they might appear in. Not only Samsung, but also Google, Nvidia, and IBM are involved in the development of chips based on artificial intelligence. Then there's Cadence, a Synopsys competitor which is also developing artificial intelligence tools to help with blueprints for new chips. The current approach to artificial intelligence used by Synopsys and all other companies uses a machine learning technique called reinforcement learning to develop chip designs. The technology can automatically draw the basics of the design, including component placement and interconnection. This is accomplished by trying simulations and learning which ones produce the best results. Non-invasive sensors Another cool innovative development are sensors that, when in contact with human skin, are able to detect pressure, the level of certain substances in the blood, and if a person's life is threatened, independently signal to a medical facility. Samsung has already developed non-invasive blood glucose sensors that use the optical reflection spectrum of the skin, which has proven effective in monitoring diabetes. Accordingly, in the future, the sensor could be used in wearable devices such as smartwatches. For example, Samsung previously created a sensor that uses pulse waveform detection to measure blood pressure without the use of a cuff and is already supported in devices such as the Galaxy Watch Active 2 and Galaxy Watch 3 in some countries. Overall, Samsung proposes to fundamentally change the way medicine is diagnosed. Its emphasis will be on the individual and on preventing the development of diseases rather than curing them. Neon the goal of the project? The creation of artificial beings that can copy human behavior and have their image. Neons are analogs of Tamagotchis. You can communicate with them, observe their behavior, but they will not provide any useful information. Neons can be a great base to replace teachers, TV presenters, financial advisors. Each neon has its own unique habits and behavior. The company has not yet given any exact information on when the project will be launched. Bali. Every self-respecting technology company should have its own robot, and Samsung is no exception. The Bali robot is a small ball with a built-in camera that can move around the house and interact with smart appliances depending on the situation. It will be able to activate the vacuum cleaner if the dog in the house knocks over food on the floor. 
Is it bedtime? The robot will close the smart curtains and turn off the smart lights. Bali can be a real helper. Its duties could include protecting your home from intruders and helping you with your fitness routine. Sunny 5 Another interesting development is the window light. Yes, yes, you heard it right. It will be appropriate in dimly lit rooms or used during seasons when there is not enough light. Sunny 5 emits artificial daylight, allowing a person to get the full spectrum of light similar to what comes from the sun during the day. The main thing about this device is that it ensures that the body naturally produces the right amount of vitamin D. But it's also incapable of causing sunburn and also prevents photo-aging of the skin. The brightness and the color of the light can be easily adjusted using a smartphone app. Root Sensor You could say that this project could be a successful continuation of Sunny 5 since it, too, is related to vitamin D. But unlike Sunny 5, the root sensor is a small sensor that records daily UV radiation levels. It could be used in wearable devices, smart cars, or even smart homes to provide a system that could detect UV exposure as well as data on user skin conditions and vitamin D production. Heil An unusual and easy-to-use development allows you to digitize and transfer any device the text highlighted with a special marker on paper. A special application has been developed for further interaction with the text. The exact release date of Hyler on the market is not yet known. In general, this is just a small number of research projects and developments that Samsung is working on and that the company has publicly announced. As you can see, Samsung's developments are very diverse and do not cease to amaze. Moreover, the company undertakes both large and labor-intensive projects as well as small gadgets that can improve our everyday life. Let's hope that all of them will be successful and will improve the capabilities of consumer devices and in general improve the quality of life of users.